Lemmer in the Netherlands writes to me and he says, Paul, first of all, I love your videos. Why? Thank you, sir. Uh, and your book, The Audiophile's Guide. Why, thank you twice. I'm currently walking through it, and in my new listening room, I uh, wondered the following. The room has four vertical walls, good, <laughs> but the front wall, the one behind the speakers, uh, after about four feet, uh, becomes vertical. And then it slopes up, forming a triangle with the back wall. It's an upstairs listening room under a triangular roof. Uh, are there any special things to consider when trying to set up speakers in such a room? Yeah, so one of my favorite rooms, and, and you know, people get kind of wigged out a little bit, like, oh my gosh, my, I have a cathedral ceiling, you know, and, and, and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, thank your lucky stars. Because first off, we don't want parallel walls, and there ain't nothing parallel about a a, a cathedral ceiling or a, even a, just a sloped, uh, you know, here's your, here's your wall and you've got this sloped ceiling. That's, that's as good as it gets. That's exactly what you want. Either a very high ceiling or uh, a triangulated or cathedral ceiling. Oh, that's the best. What you'd like to do, if you can, is shoot down the triangle, right? So it's above you like this and then you're shooting this way, if the room allows for it. That's gonna give you the best sound quality that you can have. And that's, if you can do it, uh, and everything else being considered, that would certainly be the way that I would do it, lengthwise along the triangle or, or along your angle that you have, as opposed to shooting into the angle or away from the angle. So try that and let us know how it works. But hey, there is nothing wrong with sloped ceilings. Seriously, it's a thing of beauty and you should thank your lucky stars. Let us know, drop me a note. All right, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later, bye.